Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of The Growl with Haley and Ishan. My name is Ishan. And I am Haley. And on today's episode, the Reading Week special, we will be having a good news story, an interview, and a joke of the week. And before we hop into our regular programming, I just wanted to share with you guys that on November 5th, we will be having a live online bingo. So make sure you hop onto the GCSA Berry page and find out more details about how to join. And without further ado, let's jump into the interview. So today we have Jessica with us. So Jessica, can you please introduce yourself to the Georgia students and what your role is on the campus? Absolutely, and thanks for having me on this episode. I'm excited to be here. My name is Jessica Lovett. I am the Director of Co-op, Career and Experiential Learning at Georgian. So that means I support students across and the team that works across all of our campuses um, to offer services associated with helping students achieve career success. We support co-op students uh, in preparing for and then securing their co-op work terms. And if you're in a non-co-op program, we might support you with tips for how to improve your resume or, or with ideas for how to do well in an interview. And later, when students graduate, we also support students in finding graduate work opportunities. That is an amazing introduction, Jessica. Thank you so very much for that. So I wanted to know how you and your team are helping students in this virtual environment right now. Like, what are some of the things you are doing with students? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Since we moved to remote service delivery, our team has been continuing to support students with one-to-one -one appointments. We do those via telephone, video conference on WebEx. Uh, we'll even support students via email if that's their preference, but we like to see people. So one-to-one -one appointments is our, our favorite thing. We also deliver group workshops on topics connected to career success or topics connected to success in a co-op work term. We've also been working really hard to develop job opportunities. Finding work in a pandemic is hard, so uh, we're developing as many opportunities as we can for how to help students with finding work during the pandemic. We support networking events, um, and we also have been uh, posting information about various workshops and learning opportunities through the student portal, so students can register for those events. Uh, if they visit our portal, they'll see them in the upcoming events section. Great. So any message you want to convey to the students who are studying virtually right now? We're here for you. Um, and we know that sometimes the video and, and the video fatigue is a real thing. So we feel it too. We're here to support you. Just reach out if you need anything. Great. Thank you so much, Jessica. Just last question to end this interview with. So how can students reach out to you and your team if they need any kind of support? Full contact information is available on our uh, services page on the student portal, and that's the co-op career and field placement resources page. There's a link to contact and you'll see a list of all of the individuals in our team. You can connect with them directly. You can dial the extension and our team will pick it up uh, via telephone or you can make an appointment through Georgian Connects with your co-op consultant or with a member of our career coaching team, our career consultant team if you're in a non-co-op program. If you're not sure where to start, you can also send an email to careerandcoop at georgiancollege.ca and we'll help you get connected with the right person uh, and we'll help connect you with the service that you might need. Amazing. This has been an amazing interview, Jessica. Thank you so very much for being a part of it. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. Love the girl. Thank you so much, Jessica, for joining us on the show today. And thanks to Sean for setting up that interview. The pleasure is all mine, Haley. Uh, so guys, now let's jump into the good news story. Hello, Bethany. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you just want to start by introducing yourself and what program you're in. Hi, I'm Bethany. Um, I'm in the Police Foundations program. I'm in my third semester, so second year. Yeah. So do you want to just kind of touch about um, where you see yourself working with your um, in the future? Yeah, for sure. So um, I, my plan is to apply for the OPP. Um, I'm hoping to get hired on, but um, I know I'd like to build on my resume a little more as well. So I actually have the opportunity to work at Penchang Prison after I graduate. So um, most likely I'll be working there and then uh, waiting to get on with the OPP whenever that happens. So if you kind of want to just touch on why you decided to take these foundations and um, who your inspiration is, um, just basically how you ended up where you are. Yeah, for sure. So um, 
My dad was a OPP officer for 35 years. Uh, he just retired. And my brother has been a police officer for about six or seven years, also with the OPP. Um, and both of them are just really great police officers. But I think uh, in today's day and age, especially like a police officers get a really bad rep. So um, my dad and my brother have inspired me to be like one of those police officers who has a good reputation and who gives police officers a good reputation and is going to be one of the good officers. Um, so that's kind of like why I wanted to do it in the first place. And also, I just really want to help people. Um, I'm an empathetic person and I care about people a lot. Um, and I've experienced some stuff that I feel offers me some insight into what some people go through. So I'd like to be able to put that to work to use and uh, help people out. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us. That's super inspiring. And thanks again for joining us on the show here. Thank you so very much, Bethany, for the good news story. And thank you, Haley, for conducting it. Thank you, Ishan. And last but not least, let's hop into the joke of the week. Hello, my name's Rachel. I'm one of the students in this year's free apprenticeship program. And uh, today I have your joke of the week. So what's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bike and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? A tire. Thank you so very much for the joke of the week. And thank you everyone for tuning in for the week 10 of the Growl with Haley and Ishan. If you're willing to take part in our videos, then please reach out to your respective GCSs and we are looking forward to having you. Thank you so much. Bye.